are all saturated fats bad? Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and senior public health contributor for Forbes. I want to break down everything you need to know about saturated fats. Secretary Kennedy of Health and Human Services wants to revise and revamp the dietary guidelines for America. And part of what he wants to do is relook at and reinvestigate saturated fats and whether or not we should include them in dietary guidelines. So what is saturated fat exactly? Well, it's a dietary fat that is usually solid at room temperature. And many foods like animal-based foods and plant-based oils like uh, you know palm oil and coconut oil, for example, are saturated fats. And it gets its name from its molecular and chemical structure that allows certain bonds to not form. So for example, the carbon bonds can't form a double bond with another carbon bond. And I know that's getting a little technical, but that's what a saturated fat is. And why is it that saturated fats have been so taboo uh, in America and also just in terms of nutritional guidelines? Well, saturated fats can have harmful effects to health because they increase something called LDL, which is low density lipoprotein. That's the bad cholesterol that you don't want to accumulate. That accumulates in arteries and blood vessels. It can clog them and that can increase your risk for getting things like high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. It can also result in inflammation of those blood vessels, which can then damage those blood vessels. Remember, all organs in your body rely on blood vessels for blood. So when that gets damaged, then that also will damage those organs, and you might get liver failure or kidney failure, for example. So this is why saturated fats are bad, and you don't want to have too many saturated fats. But with that said, are all saturated fats bad, and should we avoid saturated fats completely? Well, absolutely not, because our bodies need saturated fat. And the reason for that is because saturated fats are critical for the structure of our cell membranes. And in order for our cells to operate effectively, we need saturated fats. Also, we need saturated fats to build and to produce certain important hormones. So for example, testosterone and estrogen, for example, and we know that those are critical for reproductive health. It's also important for forming cortisol, which is a stress hormone that helps us regulate stress and our well-being. And also, it's just a rich form of energy. For every gram of saturated fat, that's nine calories of energy. So very rich in terms of the way we use energy and our metabolism. So the bottom line is, is that it's important for us to have a balance when we consider saturated fat. You know, there's a lot of uh, organizations like the American Heart Association that recommends using less than 10% of our total caloric intake per day for saturated fat. So that means for like an average person that takes 2000 calories, maybe 20 grams of saturated fat or less per day. And obviously we wanna have a balance. We wanna be eating fruits, vegetables, maybe saturated fats, maybe unsaturated fats. If we can replace some of those saturated fats with unsaturated fats like uh, avocado, for example, uh, you know, some of the other things, you know, grains, nuts, you know, these are unsaturated fats. These are more healthy fats that we can replace. Now, remember, saturated fats are things like beef, pork, sausage, uh, cheese, whole milk, for example, cream, butter. These are all examples of saturated fats. So the key, again, of course, is to balance it and not necessarily avoid it because our bodies need saturated fat to survive. Hope that was helpful. Hope that demystified what saturated fat is. And please consider subscribing to the MedEd page and support our mission for supporting public health and global health worldwide. Thank you so much.